Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. This is a real quick general reading. Let's say a blessing and we'll find out what it's about, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Okie dokie, my goodness. I don't feel like I have like a deep enough deck up here all of a sudden. All right. Yeah. We have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. You may have some kind of a significant choice coming up in your love life. I've got the king of wands out here. There's three of wands. Goodness. This is quite a bit. This is a nice little story here, though. Um, wow, I've got the fool on the bottom now. So it feels like you may have met someone recently, or you're about to. Um, whoever you are, this is probably why I was saying I don't think there's a deep enough deck right here, up here in this room. Um, because this Empress energy, I was feeling someone who had like a tremendous amount of spiritual energy inside of them. And someone, you may have like golden hair, There may you may be blonde, you could be a redhead, you could be any color hair really, but the first thing I noticed was this person's very blonde hair. Maybe something significant about that. Um, whoever you are, I feel like you just, this is kind of like going to be a great year for you, it looks like. And it feels like you're coming out of an unstable situation. Um, something, something may have happened to you or your family. This, whoever I'm reading for here, you're very protecting of um, people that you love. And it feels like you are a caretaker and people naturally gravitate towards you. It's like you are kind of a shine, I mean, without being like overly dramatic, you're kind of a shining light here, you know, where everything else is kind of, you know, in, in the shadows, this person kind of casts a, like a glow from them. And that's what I was seeing. Um, it feels like you, you may have started some kind of new pathway in your life, whether it's moving out on your own or um, starting a new career or going back to school or going to school for the first time or, yeah, there's just some kind of new beginning that you've already embarked upon here. And I've got the tower card under that. Um, so whatever it was, it feels like it was pretty disruptive in your life, whatever this new beginning was. And I think that's why this page of pentacles comes out on its side here, because the page of pentacles can be about that brand new beginning. I always think of it as like the freshman in college card, you know, um, whoever you are, it feels like you started this journey and didn't have time to prepare for it or you started this journey with kind of like an unstable foundation and it's been difficult it's been kind of a rocky beginning um and it feels like everything has been kind of topsy-turvy in your life uh for a while you um my Okay, I have some unusual cards over here. Let me get another deck and just kind of clarify this section because it feels, so you have all of this success and all of this like long-term love coming into your life. And I mean long-term love from romantic partnerships as well as platonic friendships and family relationships as well, you know. Um, it just feels like you have established, um, I don't know, this real loving energy around you. You may have um, a brand new social group or you may be kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's like you have found your chosen family and it feels like a renewal of relationships you have with others. There is a lot of um, romantic attraction coming towards you. And I feel like this it, I, this is just the energy that you are sitting in if this is your reading. Um, this Ten of Cups can be marriage energy, but it can really just be like this 
group of people who really love you and are attracted to your energy, you know? Um, and we already just talked about how great you are and you're kind of like this shining light um, and everyone seems to be kind of drawn towards you right now. But because of that, it feels like you expend a lot of energy. Now, these are the cards that I have questions about, though. So let me just go on ahead. I've got the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine Energy. And I have this Hierophant out there again. Where's that camera? What? Hold on. Sometimes. Um, fair enough. I have this Seven of Swords with this Hierophant here with this King of Swords that comes out on its side. Now, the King of Swords, when it's on, on its side, that's usually someone who's all this whole combination is someone who, for some reason, this commitment didn't work out with them because they could be someone who doesn't tell the truth about situations. They could be someone who has a like aggressively sharp tongue that hierophant on its side that's taurus energy sure but it's like contractual and that seven of swords is someone who's not telling the truth you know here look um so you've got that hierophant twice and this seven of swords twice there but you can see this is someone who's quite deceptive but in this particular deck this is the after tarot um they're about to get caught in something you see Someone got caught in something, something deceptive. Hmm. Maybe this is what caused you to move in a diff in this new kind of shaky new beginning here. Eey. Yeah, there's the Ten of Swords. That's the minor arcana of the death card. It can indicate um, a betrayal. It can indicate a divorce, it can indicate um, an on again, off again, kind of up and down situation. Um, this King of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I have, as far as character or court cards, I have um, air sign and fire sign kings. And it feels like, well, that's the end of an era there. Um, that's closing out that cycle, that world card, that's the final card in a deck of tarot. And it feels like, so we, we have to get to that before we can wrap back around to this new beginning. So whoever you are. Okay, so I get that you've left this situation behind here. And it was pretty rough. And I feel like you've just now started to kind of heal yourself here. Hmm. And now I have this King of Cups in the reverse. Wow. You could have had a lot of um, challenging relationships in your life. Um, and, you know, everybody does. But, I mean, you could have, I mean, you got a lot of masculine energy out here and this Empress. Um... I feel like whoever you are, you have been involved in relationships where you've always been the caretaker, kind of like the behind the scenes. Like a lot of heavy weight on your shoulders, you know? And whoever you are, you're just like a very naturally happy person. I like that. Oy. Um, some of you, there's the train, um, realized that everything was kind of illusionary and whatever this was in, that was that you were in. And so you had to move in a different direction. Okay. So enough about that. It feels like you had to make a choice, right? With that temperance energy. Okay. And so you chose to walk away. Okay. And that was hard. Really, 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 really hard. And now you're finding some kind of sense of peace and stability. Peace and stability. The most valuable thing we could ever have, right? 
Ah, it feels like there's um, a release of something here for you. And now we are moving into this other different kind of time. I feel like financially life starts to be a little bit more eased up. I feel like emotionally things start to stabilize for you. I think in a lot of your relationships, things are starting to stabilize and there's soulmate energy coming towards you. That is so interesting. I never once noticed this red thread in this picture before. Um, but that red thread is a symbol of the connection that we have with a soulmate, right? Some people will wear them around their wrist. Um, and it, it can also be for like good health or something. I don't know. Look it up on the Google. But anyway, um, there, it feels like you're attracting a soulmate energy into your life and you make sense together. I feel like you choose one another here. I really like that. It feels like very reciprocal and it feels like very joyous and something that other people are going to be happy for you about. It's very nice. Uh, and there's the lovers again. Nice. Um, yeah, so this is a person of significance coming into your life pretty quickly. And there it is, there's the three of wands again. And that's that's all about someone that you have waited for. Someone that you've, you know, this little guy's checking their watch, right? How much longer is this going to take? Well, I think it's about here. And like I said, reciprocal, same on both sides. Very good. Okay, now. So I have the Ten of Cups again. <laughs> That's again that um, it can it can symbolize marriage. It can symbolize a family coming together or being created or a blended family coming together as well. Um, but it's really like a lot of happiness. And this comes after a time of solitude. Yes, and there's that Four of Wands. And there's the Two of Pentacles again. And there's the Tower again. <laughs> nice. Um, and there's the Six of Wands again. All right. Um, this is this person. It's like as soon as you see them, you just kind of know that you guys are. It's it's almost like it breathes um, fresh air into your system. Yeah, there could be something significant to the color blue here. This person may wear blue. They may have blue eyes. They may have a blue something very significant about the blue. Um, yeah. This person has that same kind of radiant aura that you have, and that's why you attract one another so easily and so perfectly, really. It's really nice. Really nice. I'm happy for you guys. I just saw 1311 on the counter. 1313. Um, so this is interesting. I have this Ace of Pentacles, which is this brand new beginning. And this is pretty much, you know, one of the best cards you could ever get in any reading because it's, it's something that you can invest in something that, you know, is going to go the distance long term. And I really feel like whoever you are with this Empress energy, this feels like you made the right choice for yourself. And you're going to start to see this progression of benefits to that choice and the blessings that come from that choice. And it, it was hard for you to make this decision. It was hard for you to do whatever this was. Again, it was very disruptive with that tower out multiple times. It's, it was very painful with this, um, seven of, or excuse me, 10 of swords here. And it was a lot of, um, It created a lot of mistrust in you for a long time, I think, when it came to romantic relationships. And I feel like you've done a lot of healing work on yourself here. It's really nice. Um, I feel like someone is kind of I feel like you've been worried that you didn't make the right choice, you know? I think you've just been worried that you weren't doing a good enough job or that something was something bad was gonna happen. I mean, this is 
like someone who really had to go through it with this situation. And you're about to be very happy. In addition to being peaceful, I feel like you're about to be very, very happy. It's like somebody finally has just about everything they could ever want. There's the Fool card again on the bottom of the deck with the Emperor and the Ace of Cups. And there's the Queen of Cups again. Alrighty then. Aren't you guys the cutest? So this Queen of Cups is um, known for being like the sweetie pie in the deck. Like the sweetest of all the sweet, the kindest, very loving. And we already established that you are and that you just kind of... Something about you just people love. And I think it's because you love other people. You know, that's kind of the key, isn't it? Um, you've got this emperor that goes with this empress. Nicely done, guys. I love the way you do, right? Oh, it goes like that, yeah. Do to do, do to do. Um, yeah, so the emperor and the empress go together. They love each other, it's so sweet. Um, and then you've got this fool card here again. <sighs> And this one, it's like you chose to dive in on your own, like feet first. And then this one, specific to this deck, I always call this the love bubble card. I feel like you're about to fall in love. I'm not joking, especially since I have this Ace of Cups that came out with it all. You got the Ace of Pentacles, you got the Ace of Cups. I mean, really, what more can I say? The Ace of Cups is a brand new love relationship opportunity. Same with that lover's card that we saw twice. You get a bunch of repeat cards in here. And on top of it, you got the emperor, the empress, and that four of wands. That four of wands can be about stability returning to your life. It can be about marriage again. It can be about um, bringing people together. And a lot of people associate it with the twin flame journey, that 1111 card. And they associate the... Uh, Emperor, Empress with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy. So if you're on that train, here you have it. Um, golly, kids, whoever you are, it feels like you've done a lot of the work and it feels like um, things are about to get really good for you and it feels like you are meeting this match here. I don't know if you've already met this person. If you have, it would have been very recently. Um, but yeah. Um, this person's coming in quickly, and it looks uh, pretty good. All right. Thanks for letting me read for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch up with you soon.